What's cracking, YouTube? Welcome back to Myers Two Stroke RC Garage. And today, guys, today what we're gonna go over is we're gonna go over this new look. And I wanted to go over, you know, and explain to you guys how I did it and all that stuff. And I also wanted to go over um, some other things, you know, with the with the with the new parts that I also put on, you know, from last video, from last video. So I wanted to go over um, things like that. And then I wanted to go ahead and mention again that, you know, here in Iowa, this has been well, Southeast Iowa. It I've lived here, I think, what, 15, somewhat, something like that years. Uh, anyways, so I, this is one of the craziest springs we've ever had. That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, we've been having crazy weather. I mean, it's always going to rain. It's, there's always a chance of rain. And the clouds, you know, are always looking like they're going to rain. So that's why I haven't been out doing any ripping videos or anything like that and, and uh, stuff like that. I've been just been wrenching on on this thing and trying to get it right. So um, why don't I get you guys down here closer to the bench or closer to the machine and we'll go from there. All right, guys, I got you down closer here to the bench. And um, the first thing I wanted to go over was, okay, so I got the, the clutch obviously installed and um, everything put back together. But I wanted to go over kind of what I found as far as, you know, what might've caused that, uh, that transmission brace or transmission plate brace or whatever to, to, uh, you know, to crack. So this is, this is the brace I'm talking about. And, um, af after I got it out and I got the other one in and doing fitting and stuff, I noticed that, uh, I was having trouble getting, getting this hole and this hole lined up. And I'd always had problems with that, but I, if I would just put, you know, extreme amount of pressure on one side, I could get them to light line up. Um, let me show you what I was doing though when I was doing that. Okay, so we'll flip this. Where is it? Flip that over to there. And then you can see right there. So what it was doing is I was wedging it. I was wedging it here. Let me just see if I can get a. I was wedging it down in here around the clutch carrier. It doesn't really fit real nice around that clutch carrier. It's got to kind of be wedged in there. It fits, but it doesn't fit nice. And it's it's kind of, you know, it's a real tight fit. And I was thinking in my mind, I'm thinking, well, I mean, something may not be moving, you know, extremely, you know, enough to, I guess, enough to break something. But that, you know, that kind of uh, pressure on, on that exact specific spot. Here, let me see if I can get this right. You can see, okay, you, you can see where it fractured it and where it broke it is right here and that's the exact same place that the stock one would break and you flip it over there and you can see right there that's where the clutch carrier and i had to grind i want to say i don't know how many thousands off i i grind i ground um some off the other one so it would so i could get these these holes to line up there's one here there's one there and there's one there. I was wanting to get them lined up without any without any force. I was having to I was having to put a lot of pressure on this to kind of get it in and get it in place. I was like having to wedge the plate in there. And I I think that might have been some of my problem. That's why I actually broke this cuz now, you know, when I put the plate in, um it fits, you know, nice and nice and good and I mean, it fits it's not loose in there by any means, but it it's not like near what it was so anyways guys i wanted to go over that okay the next thing i wanted to go over is uh we got the new hinge pin brace the rear hinge pin brace installed that's the only one i was really looking for my front one's been holding up you know and everything's been going good with it so i really don't have any reason to go ahead and pull the transmission out to replace that front one so i just went ahead and replaced my steel one with that with the taylor one with the taylor the rear one out of the tailor. So I went ahead and replaced that and it took up all the slop. There's no slop in it. So that's nice. Now what I need to do, I wanted to mention is I need to take care of this slop. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting um, some, some, some sort of spacer in between here. I don't know if I'm gonna actually do some sort of rubber spacer, you know, like a bushing or whether I'm going to uh, uh, you know, actually put shims in there or whatever, you know, like steel shims or something to keep it, you know, really super tight. But right now that's, I mean, that I'm just trying to take up 
pick up all the slops so this so this stuff doesn't have anywhere to go you know it's got to go to the ground so all right so now let's go over the body panels and what what i did to them and um all that stuff so what i did was i went to menards or yeah i went to menards and bought a sheet of uh acrylic plastic is what i started out with a because it was the cheapest and i'd never done this before so i wanted to see how how that would uh you know how it, how it would turn out and what i what i found out is the acrylic is definitely a lot more brittle and we'll see how long it lasts uh you know i i still got my old panels so i can i can uh, trace out another set and cut another set out so the next time I'll, go, they had some, this polyurethane plastic there. That's probably what I should have went with. But this being my first time, I didn't want to buy, you know, a, you know, I can't remember how much it was. What, what was it, like a 40 or $60 sheet of plastic? If I didn't know what I was, you know, what I was getting into. So I wanted to just try it with the cheap stuff. And so that's what I did. And then, so I traced all the, the panels from, uh, from my old panel, you know, the stock panels that came on it. I just traced them on plastic. And then what I did is I cut them out with my Dremel and that was kind of a tedious process and all my cuts, I mean, they're not, they're not perfect. And like I said, it was just, it's my first time doing it. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's just, you know, the cuts aren't perfect, but I was using my Dremel and, uh, another thing I was going to, I wanted to show you guys is that I did get one of these and these are dangerous, dangerous as shit. I put this in my Dremel and you know, I had the, you know, the screws in there and everything and it should be balanced, but it wasn't. I turned my Dremel on and the shaft bent like completely sideways. I can't believe that blade didn't fly off there and, and gouge me somewhere, man. I, man, I, it, it could have killed me. <laughs> yeah, that was a crazy deal. But uh, anyways, uh, so it, what I ended up cutting it out with, so that's what I ended up cutting it out with. You can see the remnants of the plastic and what all I did is I put my Dremel in the vise and then, you know, put a pair of gloves on and, you know, use it almost like a table saw or whatever. So, yeah, I cut I cut the panels out and then I labeled inside and out on uh, this panel and this panel. Since it's got, you know, one for each side, you got to label inside and outside because you want to be painting. The way you paint and the way they're shaped, you got to be paying attention to that. I, it's hard for my brain to ex, to explain that stuff because I can't articulate what I'm trying to think, but I'm sure you guys can grasp what I'm what I'm trying to explain here. But so I labeled them inside and out, and then I sanded everything down after I after I got them cut out. Uh, cut I sanded the the paint side down, and then I took them outside, and I had red and black, red and black of course, and um, uh, I was trying to do you know like a like a you know kind of a cool little like a cool little paint scheme and so i ended up doing these uh you know these stripes and so i did these stripes and it was really hard to you know keep going in the same stripe you know in the state say in the same spot you know try not to get it coated too much or you know not enough or whatever so i did the best i could and um then i let them dry completely and i pulled the the plastic off of this side and uh they came out i think they came out really freaking nice I, i'm really impressed with them um one thing uh i did do is these are actually that's why there's such a big space there is these two back ones are actually backwards uh when i was you know when i was drilling the holes for them i drilled the holes backwards so that was one of the things i i kind of screwed up but at the same time i kind of like having this this is almost like an air duct you know like a scoop sucking sucking air in so i kind of like that and it has it on the other side too so it's like pulling air in around the engine i kind of i kind of dig that that's why i didn't you know redo it or try doing something different so um yeah i just kind of did what i could do there and this is my first time doing it i like i said i think they came out pretty nice and i i know when i get out in the sun because i've i've shined you know the light through it and stuff um i know that there's going to be I get some spots that aren't coated heavy enough with paint and they kind of will, the sun will shine through, but I, you know, I'm not concerned about that. Like I said, it's my first time. And then when these panels crack, I'll get busy on working on getting another set, you know, I'm made out of that polyurethane and get, get, you know, get, uh, everything 
back in order. So that's going to be, you know, what I'm going to do in the future. I'm just, you know, always going to, I'll save my old panels and just keep cutting out new ones and keep, keep doing, doing what I'm doing. So I kind of, I'm pretty, pretty glad I got this, uh, sand rail cage. It's the metal sand rail cage from Roven, from Roven, uh, it Dan. I can't remember the exact part number off the top of my head, but, uh, I have no complaints out of it. I really haven't crashed it very hard, but, um, you know, in all actuality, I want to keep the shiny side up. You know, that's my, that's my plan. So anyways, guys, I don't want to make this video any longer than it is. So if you like the video, you know what to do. We will see you in the next one.